Fanny, Treasure Island starts Friday. It does, and we're so excited. I hope you've got your tickets. You're going to be in for a real treat, let me tell you, with Fanny and the lovely Ben. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so we tell people it's about half past ten on a Monday morning. Uh, what's going on just to your left? So to our left, we've just been actually pulled out of rehearsals to speak to you, but they're, they're in there now warming up. They're doing the vocal warm-up and the physical warm-up. And then I think they've got um, songs, they're doing the BVs. They're doing the back and vocal recordings and uh, going through all the songs and stuff like that. And the tech, first day of tech starts today, so that's, that's the sets being built, the props are going up, the sound is being tested through the sound system. And so Ben, tell us about Treasure Island. Uh, so Treasure Island is a story of, uh, so traditionally it's, it's Jim Hawkins, but in our version it's Jane Hawkins. Um, and she and her auntie, Captain Betty Backbeard, get, in, get a map and uh, go on to, to find some treasure. We're along with their cousin Silly Billy and Pirate Fanny. And um, there's, a, you know, there's an evil sea witch who also wants to get hold of the treasure. And there's also another pirate who also wants to get hold of the treasure. And it's a lot of uh, fun and nonsense along the way to Treasure Island. There can't be many pirate fannies on the sea. <laughs> there might be a few pirate fannies on the sea and I'm, can I just say I'm so glad he got that question because now I know what the story is literally because when, you when you're in rehearsals you tend to do your own scenes and it's not until you come to do a run through that you actually see what else is going on because when you're not on stage you're off being pulled and going off and doing another thing aren't you it, like singing or whatever so so I'm glad you actually filled me on what well, the storyline is. I hope I know what the story is. And I think right, yeah, <laughs> well, right, you're on so much. He literally, could go, he's on and then if he's not in that scene, he's getting ready to do something else. Whereas I'm on and then I'm changing and then come back. But you're, you're like, he's got so much to think about and we won't give too much away, but you're playing a couple of other things. I'll do a couple of other bits in this, in this version, yes. Are you both pleased that you have fans, that people will come and are you in it and over the years people got to know you and love you and, and are really looking forward to coming here yeah well for you you do the Christmas panto as well so like loads of people come and see because they know how good he is in the Christmas panto but for me initially doing it I I hadn't done I'd done a panto years ago as a dancer when I was a professional dancer so now to do this it was a bit different for me and I thought how am I gonna you know how how is it gonna go down and stuff but it's been brilliant and the people that come along and watch, it's been really, you know, well, I'm just thank God that they're there. Yeah. Because otherwise it would be new on there. Yeah, no, it's, um, it's still, I still feel, I still feel a little bit like, I don't know how to describe it really. Uh, find it odd that people would come and they would care that I'm in something. Like, I, I, I don't know how, to, how else to put that really. Like, I still find it strange that people are like, oh, well, yeah, you're in that, I like that, I'll come and see if you're in it. And I'm, that's, I would love that. That's that, that. I feel like there's there's a there's a matter like I feel honoured that anyone would care what I'm doing like that. Yeah. Like I'm like you know oh wow you like you're coming you're telling me that you're coming because I'm in it rather than uh, you know because you want to come and see the sh a show. Do you know what I mean? If that makes yeah. sense. So that's and, and our little loyal band of reviewers now from age of four to sixty two. Um, and it's important the show has it, can, it embraces all age groups. No, definitely, it's got something for everyone, from from the kids and those jokes that um, that will go over the kids' heads and the adults will get. Um, and there's there's dance and singing, so it, there's something for everyone. And the comedy scenes, well, they were making me laugh. Like just from from my point of view, when we're in rehearsals, watching the other um, actors and performers do their bit, it, it, there's something for everyone, I think. Isn't there? Yeah, I think like I've, I've, I've said to you many times, like uh, that's really important. That you know, because it's billed as uh, a children's show, which because primarily pantomime is you know is aimed at children. But realistically, if the adults who are paying the money, who are getting the children up at you know ten o'clock and getting them ready and making sure, and then coming there and spending their money, if they're sitting there going, oh god, make it so this is so boring, this is, they're not going to want to come back. And they're not going to enjoy themselves. And if, and if everyone in the family is enjoying themselves, then that's just that. Then what more could you want than having, rather than having 50% of the audience having the best time, or 50% wish they were at the pub, 100% of the people having a good time. That's what we're aiming for. Always, we want we want everyone to have a good time. So finally, it's now Monday. When are you going to be in theatre one, in rehearsal, in dress rehearsal? What's what's the plan for the week? So you can answer that one because I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think we. We're in there from tomorrow, 
uh, sort of walking it through, and then I think we start tech like costumes, uh, microphones, running it with every element uh, on Wednesday. So it, it's it comes together quick. That's good to know. <laughs> because also when when you're in a rehearsal studio it's suddenly when you go on the, into the auditorium you've been used to a mirror um, and, and different surroundings and then when you go in there and you see all these empty seats and just how big the stage is and the sides of the stage it, it throws you and obviously you've done it loads of times so but oh, if so you, it has the same effect so yeah it has the same effect because like. you're suddenly walking in a different entrance and then you think oh I should have come off that way and I should have gone on that so it, it does throw you but it, it's a really nice feeling to actually feel like you're in there we're lucky at the playhouse that it's all in house so we we've had a little look at the, the new performers have been able to have a little look in so they get a feel of it as well so we're looking forward to that side of it but the bottom line is people buy your tickets come and see a great show for Easter absolutely Definitely. absolutely right you know, I want to come and see Ben and Fanny do our thing. Oh, nice little segue though, I like that segue. <laughs> ah, that's delicious. Spoilers. Sorry.